What's going on, everybody? It's Logan of Socialverse. So I'm going to show you a cool automation that we set up to send a text message to ourselves as well as the client uh, for when they book a call with us through our website. So obviously, we have the appointments manager here. Uh, we have a book a call option set up for video or phone call. Let's just go through it and test it real quick uh, just to show you kind of what we're dealing with here. Uh, so obviously, the person could come through. They pick their day. They pick their time. Uh, all of that. Let's just go through and put all right, my info just right now. Test. Let's go ahead and switch it over to my email. We'll use this number. Um, at the end of this, I'm also going to show you how to integrate this and how to set it up yourself. So you can obviously do it. This is just a test. You click book appointment. Now, obviously, the user is going to see this. But the cool thing is here in a few seconds, they're actually going to get a message. So we have an automation set up. Uh, where that text message comes through. And obviously, um, I'm showing you via a new uh, account, Twilio account that we just set up. So you're going to see this. But um, for example purposes, I just wanted to show you this so how you could go through it exactly like we do on our other accounts. Uh, but as you can see, we have a prompt set up. It says, hey, it's a socialist team here with an automated confirmation. Um, we may want to adjust this, obviously. Uh, depending on maybe to make it sound a little bit better or grammatically incorrect. It just says, thanks for scheduling a call with us. Here are the details. Your call is scheduled with Logan Molinex at 1026, which is today at 7.30 p.m. Um, we obviously have to adjust this time. This is just some automation calls, but this is essentially how you do it. And it just says, look forward um, to speaking with you, blah, blah, blah. If you want to recancel or whatever, reschedule, you can do that. Um, just let us know. So the first thing, if you guys want to set up, an integration like this to send a text message to either yourself or the person that scheduled it, uh, you can do that by going over to Integrately and then finding the Socialversed app. So that's the first step is heading over to Integrately. And once again, all the links will be in the description for all the Integrately, uh, Twilio, uh, just everything that you'll need, as well as to duplicate this exact automation. So you won't even have to go to Integrately to actually find it. Technically, you can go through uh, the recipe is what it's called for them to duplicate this. That way you can automatically pull it up, get access to it. And all you have to do is change your info. So step one, uh, go to the link in the description of this video, copy that. Um, and you're going to want to make sure it says when booking is created in Socialversed, when obviously this is where you have to edit and it's not going to be Socialversed, it's going to be your website. So for that, you're going to actually go in and find your API key. To find your API key, essentially all you're going to do is go over here and then uh, go down to applications and your API key is going to be right here. But that's where you have to go to find that. Um, and then obviously you're, if all this data doesn't get uh, populated in, then you're going to want to come in here and make sure you uh, select everything here, get it entered, uh, but it'll automatically pull that data. You're going to have to submit a test through your website for it to actually pull and populate in here. Um, the next step that we need in this is we need to connect an SMS provider. So there's a lot of different examples and providers out there to use, but in this example, we're going to use Twilio. Uh, so you're going to select the Twilio inside of Integrately and then send SMS and Twilio, and that's what you want it to be. Uh, so you're gonna wanna head over, if you don't have a Twilio account, go ahead and create one. We recently just created one today, a new one, I should say, for this video purpose. Uh, so once you get in there, they do give you a trial that you can start with some credit. I literally just created this account for this video purposes. Uh, so you come in here and then you select a number um, and then it gives you all your API keys, your number, all of that. You can come in here and copy that. Um, but moving back, once you got your account created uh, and integrately, you connect your Twilio account. And then this is where we can kind of come enter your, all your information. Um, once your Twilio account is connected, you enter your phone number that Twilio provides you. So as you can see, this was mine. Um, now I copy it and paste it into here. So the two number, the two number is who you're sending it to. So you could send this to your number as well as the client's number if you want. But in this example, I'm just sending it to whoever booked the call. So what, what we have to do to set this up is for two number, we come in here and grab the data that came through the API um, through the booking. So we're going to come down. In this example, it is uh, the contact's phone. So we, we pretty much just copy this, we put it in here, um, and then this is where we can come in and edit this. So for yours, obviously, if you're duplicating this, you'd come in here and delete this and put your business 
name here, but I'm going to keep it social versus obviously since that's what this is for now in this example. Um, and then you can come in here and adjust all this. So you want to make sure you change it and have it set up to be, oh, your call is scheduled with what operator. So who's the operator? This is the operator right here. In this example, it was me. Um, that's just saying a live test. So I had to take it out of live, but um, so I got the operator set up. And then now what we're going to be doing is connecting and setting up the date and time. So that's where we come in here and we find the time, the start date. Oh, it's right here. So we're going to put that in there. And then obviously any of this other data, you can go and connect very easily just by pretty much putting it in, typing what you want, and then it's there. Um, and then you do test and turn on. And that's essentially how you kind of set up a basic automation for sending a text message to either yourself, client, or whatever number you want uh, for when a new booking comes in for a uh, book a call or appointments or whatever you want on that side of things. That test I just ran, as you can see, it just came through once again. So we're here we have it. And that's pretty much how you do it. It's pretty easy. Now, if you do have any questions, let me know, leave them in the comments. Be glad to go over that for you. Um, and then once again, all the links for all of this integrately to duplicate the recipe, Twilio, um, will all be down in the description. So let me know what type of videos you want to see next. If you have any questions on this one, until next time, see you.